Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. Um, this week we've got a special all on book test. Hope you enjoy it. So, David. Pete. Book tests. Yes, I haven't got a clue when it comes to the book tests. That's why I'm quite excited about this one because uh, I've seen a couple performed and I, I know that they always leave a lasting memory and a really powerful effect to do. I've never really, out of all of these, I know a little bit about the Oasis, Yeah. Uh, but everything else I have no idea. Okay, well book tests, um, I'm sure I've mentioned it on loads of vlogs, I love book tests and I've got quite a collection at home. Um, the great thing about book tests, in my mind, is they, this word said all the time, organic. They mm. seem organic. A, right. a book full of words, you yeah. ask someone to pick a word, um, and you can basically tell them what it is. Now, there are various book tests hitting the market, and I get a lot of questions about when people ring up, I'm looking at getting a book test, I don't know which one to go for. Now, in my opinion, over the last few years, people have started to get really complex with the book tests they're putting together. And for me, it, it seems a bit of overkill because I think if you have one book and you're doing effect after effect after effect after effect with it, at some point they're gonna say, Triple. yeah, yeah. Okay, so the book to me, a book test is a vehicle. To, to do different routines. Now, the one I'm gonna show you, uh, one of the effects with is Ultimate Flashback. Now, Ultimate Flashback goes against everything I've just said because you can do a 20 minute act with Ultimate Flashback. Right. But, you have got a big stack of books. Right. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so yeah. you keep switching and, okay, take another one, do this, do that. So it, it doesn't, if I was just to stand there with one book and start doing 20, 30 effects with it, you're gonna go, well, it's not a book. Whereas because of this, it all seems natural, you're switching. Yeah, like pick a book. Yeah, book. yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna start off by showing you one of the effects with Ultimate Flashback, okay? And Ultimate Flashback was most probably the first book test, no, the first book test I bought was Flashback by Larry Becker and then I got hold of Ultimate Flashback. This is something that if you see um, if you see me on my stand, if I'm demonstrating this, people will buy it because yeah. it's just incredible as a book test. You're getting a hell of a lot for your money. Um, you get all these books included. And this is one of those book tests. Uh, you don't get this one included. <laughs> I will put that there. Sorry. I just um, picked it up, I thought it was a bundle. <laughs> you get all of these books in there. Right and you can do a, a 20 minute act. If you have uh, Larry Becker's DVDs, he put out two DVDs by, I don't know if it was, uh, I think it's Mir Yedid that put them out actually. On one of his DVDs he goes full of, uh, through a full routine using the books and it, it's oh, great, wow. it's really, really good. Um, so let me show you one of, the, one of the routines with it. Just do me a favour, just grab, well you won't have the dictionary, but grab, grab a book. This one. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, put that down for a moment. What I want you to do is take this, we're going to use this as a bookmark, and I want you just to slide it in any way you like. There? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to break exactly where you've put the car, Jess. Yeah. Just have a look at a page number, that's all you need to do. Of oh, this page. Of this page here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And turn to that page in your book. So I don't know what page you're turning to. Um, so just tell me when you're on that page. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What I want you to do, do this all in your mind, but I want you to, to read the first paragraph in your mind. First paragraph. Okay. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and pick up on maybe some of the, the specifics of this. The, the first thing that's striking me actually is this isn't a happy scene, is it? No. No. Um, in my mind, I can sort of hear crying. It's a female's voice. Yeah. I can see someone quite flustered. It's like they're getting, they're getting dressed, but they're crying. They're, 
Um, it is a female, yeah? yeah? Does it say the female's name? It does. It does, okay, concentrate on the name for me. Okay, it's, it's not Lorraine, it's Laura. <laughs> yeah? I'm getting the colour yellow. I'm getting a bright yellow coming through to me. Yeah. Um, maybe a shirt, a blouse, jumper, something like that. Um, and I'm getting the feeling of loss. Like, uh, maybe lost friends or family members or it's friends, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, okay, can you read out the first paragraph to everyone? <laughs> Laura wiped the tears from her eyes instinctively as she put on uh, jeans and a bright yellow blouse. After losing two of her best friends, there wasn't much grief left for anyone else. <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> um, and that's just one of the effects that you can do with Ultimate Flashback. Um, one of the other effects which has been made popular by uh, Darren Brown on one of his stage shows um, is the dictionary effect. So the effect where someone picks a word and you come up, you come up with some random prediction like 91L1 or whatever it is, right. you, you have to be confused, someone's got a dictionary and they turn to page 91, left hand column, first word and it's the word they're thinking of. So you've got that lovely um, sort of dictionary prediction. You've got a lovely, if you know Hoy's tossed out deck, yeah. You've got a lovely version of that you can do. So what you do is you ask someone to come up on stage. Um, you riffle the book. They just say stop. They look at the page number. And all they do is they whisper the page number to three people in the audience that are holding books. They turn to that page in their book. You name three words. You ask them to concentrate. You say, okay, I'm getting the name, uh, the words, aeroplane, automobile, and cupcake. If I've named your word, sit down, they all sit down. Nice. Um, you know, there's so much you can do with Ultimate Flashback. I really, I mean, that, if you've got so much information. That, to me, is, is perfect. That's my favourite piece, I think, in any book test. Because it's, um, you know, you're giving the person so much information. Yeah. Um, you can really play it quite big. They jab it in anywhere. They well. jab it in absolutely anywhere. So that is um, that is ultimate flashback. Now there's a few differences you're going to see in the book test we're talking about, and I'm going to describe them as hands on and hands off. Now a majority of what happens with ultimate flashback, you have got to be connected in some way. Okay, so I would call that a pretty hands-on book test. Right. But I am going to show you a couple of hands-off book tests where I don't have to be anywhere near the books. Okay. Um, now, the great thing about book tests, if you watch people like Mark Salem perform, they have piles of books. And that's the great thing about book tests, is you can keep adding to them. And by bringing in different books, like if I'm doing a book test where I'm hands-on a lot of the time, I throw in a book test where I'm hands off completely, and then whoever goes, well, he's always got to be holding the book. Not that they would think that, but now... Yeah, it, it breaks it up, doesn't it? It yeah. gives it that freedom. I yeah. Know, I, you know, I get what you're saying. So, ultimate flashback. This is, this is one of those products, I will say, that we try very, very hard to keep in stock, but it is one of those products that is very, very hard to get hold of. At the moment, we do have them in stock. You won't believe the price. They're really cheap for what you're getting. Um, but we do have them in stock. But when we run out, we usually get a batch in every six to eight months. So, you know, you, you might have to wait if we run out. But that is Larry Becker's ultimate flashback. In my mind, still one of the book, best book test compilations yeah. out there. Yeah, there no, well, were. I haven't seen many, but that's, I mean... I don't know if I'm naive, but that's fooled me. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, it's it's so good and it's so easy, yeah. you know. And it, it's with all of mentalism and book tests and everything else. I mean, I could have relayed that paragraph to you word for word, right. but by doing that, don't want to show off. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, it's always more impressive when you're mind reading to pick out certain bits and to give 
a rough idea of what's going on, you know, rather than word for word just is a bit too clean. But yeah, no, it's nice because there was a bit where you said um, it's a top or a t-shirt. No, I think it's a blouse. Yeah. And, and you know, it's as if you're just picking it out. Rather than saying she's wearing a blouse, she's yeah. doing this, she's doing that. Yeah. It, it really, you know, yeah, it is great. So that, my friends, is the ultimate flashback by my good friend Larry Becker. Right, so that was Ultimate Flashback. The next book test I'm going to talk to you about is a book test that, if you've ever done any research into book tests, the name Mother of All Book Tests would have come up. Okay, the Mother of All Book Tests came out, I believe, around about 15 to 20 years ago. I'm sure I saw it at least 15 years ago, the original version. Um, and when it came out, it was a bit of a game changer because it was completely hands off. Uh, since that time, they've actually released uh, three different versions. Now, once again, I have all of these in, in my collection. Right. Um, there is, uh, there's three different versions. I'll explain the difference in a moment, but I'll, I'll show you basically what yep. the mother of all book test is okay. and what it does. Um, so, David, yep. I'm not sure if you're aware, but nowadays, well, you will be aware, because almost everything you do nowadays uses a password. Right, yeah, yeah. And the other half of the stuff you do uses what they call a safe word. <laughs> so, you know, you've always got these words in your... Do you have a safe word? I do. It's stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but um, passwords, a lot of people, when they're choosing a password, they go for things like the name of their pet, the name of their parents, the name of their wife, their kids something that is connected emotionally yeah. to you. Now these things are very, very easy to crack because if you asked me to try and crack your password on the computer, I would think of all your interests and they're the first things I would try. So they actually believe the best way to pick a password is to pick a book, turn to any page and just pick a word. Obviously it has to be a word you can remember, Yeah. Um, but that becomes your password. That way it's got absolutely no connection to you. So it's going to be impossible for someone to sit down and crack it just because they know you. Makes sense. Okay? In front of you there, we have a book. There's over 300 pages in that book. There's around about 200 words per page. So that's an awful lot of words to choose from. So pick up the book, have a look, flip, uh, flip through, and stop on any page you like. I'm not going to look. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask you to pick a word that uh, is going to become your password, okay? Now, all passwords are at least six to seven letters long. The bigger it is, the more complicated and the harder it is to crack. So I want you to pick a nice big word that's going to be your password and a word you can remember. Okay, I got one. You've got one? Yeah. Okay, close the book and put it down. So this word here, if I was just to, to look at you I, or even knew you, for, for a while, I wouldn't be able to sit there and go, oh, David, so it's got to be magic, or whatever. It, it's a word that's not really associated. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to visualise um, a keyboard in front of you. Yeah. You're going to start hitting the keys. We're going to go for the first letter. After three, yeah. I'm going to click my fingers, you're going to hit that first letter yeah. and call it out. Okay? One, two, three. You. Yeah. Don't call it out loud in your mind. <laughs> all I'm doing is proving I can actually listen. <laughs> so it has to happen in your mind, right? So imagine the keyboard is there. You're going to push the letter down. Remember, in your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so go for your first letter and now your second letter. Okay, that's an end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Now that is because of the way you're moving your fingers. I can see it. So this time, don't move your fingers. Mm -hmm. Just in your mind, just imagine yourself, the third letter. That's either an O or a D. That's a D. <laughs> Is it a D? Am I that readable? <laughs> you are very readable. <laughs> just look at me. Just, just picture what your, oh, we're on a, you're thinking of underwear. I am thinking of underwear. <laughs> Is that the word you're concentrating on? It was the one, yeah. yeah. Right. That's great. So that is the mother of all book tests, what I call a hands-off book test, i.e. that can go out in the audience right. and I don't have to be anywhere near it. 
Now, now, there are three different versions of the Mother of All book test. This is the latest. This is what they call the Mother of All book test pocket edition right. because of its size. Okay? Um, so that will fit nicely in an inside pocket or an outside pocket. Um, very great to just have in your bag as well. It's the type of book that if you were going to carry a book to work or whatever, this yeah. is you know, the, the sort of size you would carry. The original Mother of All book test, which is still a firm favourite with a lot of stage performers, is um, the original Mother of All book test, which is a nice, big, hard-backed book. Right. Okay? Now, I will tell you that this book and this book are identical. Okay. Apart from size. So, if you own the Mother of All book tests and you wanted to get a different version, you wouldn't have to do any more work if you bought this because you already know it. That's cool. Yep. The second one they bought out was the Mother of All book test 2, which once again is a softback book, but sort of a, a yeah, slightly oversized softback. Um, now, this is a great companion to the original because uh, the, the words in this book are different. This is a different book to this one. Okay. okay? So you could have either one of these two and then you, you wouldn't be crossing over. Um, my only, it's not a problem really because I don't use it, but what they've done in this book is they've tried to build in, they've tried to be a little bit clever by building in outs for magic. Right. It, it's really odd, it's like, you know, if I was going to perform a ring flight to you, I could get you to turn up a page in the book and it says, and the ring vanishes and appears on his key. It, it's like a pointless, to, to me it's a pointless thing. I think they, you know, I think they tried to justify sort of bringing out a number two where they didn't have to justify, just leave Mother of All book tests alone. But saying yeah. that, there are some very, very clever little principles going on in Mother of All book tests too that weren't in one poor pocket. Okay. okay. So um, it's a really relevant release. I just, personally, I just don't use a lot of the other stuff which yeah. they were using as... USPs, you know, it's these are our unique selling points. We've got this, this, and this, and this. Yeah, they they were pointless. The Mother of All Book Test stands alone. It's, right, it's right, incredible. Right. Um, now, the Mother of All Book Test is not a cheap book test. Uh, the the background to the Mother of All Book Test is they produce this, but they only release a certain amount per year. Right, which makes it very hard to get hold of. It keeps it in the hands of the pros. They priced it very high, um, but it's a great, great book test, and it's a great addition to any if you love book tests. And there's a lot of people out there. Book tests are, as a shop, book tests are not something that really sell a lot over the internet because it's not the type of thing. If you're looking for a new trick, you don't just go, "Oh, I have a book test," unless you know what a book test you know is. About it, yeah. yeah, and yeah. love book tests, then book tests tend to get overlooked unless you see them demonstrated and really feel the power that a book test has on a lay spectator yeah. it really really well even it. to me that was really i mean when you started uh, picking out you know intricate details from that paragraph it is you, you are like what yeah it is great yeah book tests are so strong so that is the mother of all book tests um and there's a Another version, let me just talk to you about this as well, because Vanishing Ink, our friends of Vanishing Ink, bought out a product uh, last year or the year before called Glance, and basically what this is, is the mother of all book test principle, yeah. but in a magazine. Nice. Okay, so the idea of this was you would just have a magazine on your coffee table and you could perform the mother of all book test type effect with it. Um, that's cool. Yeah, it's so this is to have in your bag. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So this is something that that sold very, very well. Um, it's not for a professional performing magician that wanted to use it on their stage or you yeah. Know, this to me is one of those things that looks great in an impromptu situation. So if you had this in your bag or if you had it in the house or something, it's right, great. Right. It, it's not the type. If I was doing a stand-up piece or I wanted to use uh, a book test close-up, I would personally use a book because it, it just feels more right than having a magazine in your 
pocket. You know, whereas if you want to take in your bag or in your case or whatever, yeah, yeah. then this is absolutely perfect. But that is um, Glance. It's very, very good. Um, beautifully designed. Works very well. Um, and it's it's sort of a an impromptu looking. So the style of what you did here, you could do in a magazine, yes. pretty much. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So that is the mother of all book tests. Right, so that was the mother of all book tests. Now the final book test we're going to talk about today is a book test that we released called The Oasis of True Freedom, or The Oasis Book Test, yeah. uh, by Clint Barron. Now, this book test, to me, um, gives the appearance of the mother of all book tests at a fraction of the price. Yeah. Um, it's very, very easy to do. And it's direct and straight to the point. Yeah. Okay, so we've got about, there's about 300 or so pages in there. Just give me any page number between, let's say, 10 and 300. Uh, 27. 27. Turn the page 27 and stick your finger right in the middle of the page for me. Uh huh. Yep. Um, what I want you to do is have a look around your finger. Is there a word that stands out to you? Maybe a word starting with a capital letter that if I asked you to show someone, it would be easy to point out. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so just concentrate on that word for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, and bear in mind, if you would have picked another page, it would have been a different word. Any other word on that page, it would have been completely different. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, close the book. Okay, is this a, a word that you could actually visualise? Yeah. Can you make a picture out of this uh -huh. word? Okay, so I want you to, to try and make a picture. It's easily, easier for me to pick up pictures than it is for, for words. So um, I want you to visualise this. Okay, this is some sort of... Um, what, I, what I'm getting is like a, a bottle and a glass. Um, it's a bottle of alcohol. The image I'm getting is maybe outside, the sun shining, you've got a table a little glass, someone's pouring you, you're having lunch or dinner, it's a, it's a wine. Are you thinking of the word wine? I am, yeah. Yeah, okay, so that, that is um, the Oasis book test. It's as clean and direct as, as that. And there's absolutely no fishing, no fishing whatsoever. Yeah, that's what I like. Um, now, the good thing about the Oasis book test is, one, it's very, very, very easy to learn. Yeah. Um, it comes with a DVD where it's all explained, but it, it's one of those things that once you've learned it, which will take you about five or ten minutes, and once you see it, you most probably already know it, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not going to give too much away, yeah. but you most probably already know it. Um, so it's a very, very easy book test to, to do. Now, I when I perform things like the Oasis book test, it will be part of a, a longer routine, so it will be like a a free selection thing. One of them will be the book, One of, the, and it, it's good as part of a, a one ahead routine, if you right. know what I mean, because yeah. I know the information before you've even opened the book. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I can use it, I can say, you know, um, you've got a book, point someone in to someone in the audience, okay, uh, give us a number between 10 and 300, they give you the number, and I say, okay, no, just remember that number. So now I can go and do all my bits here, and I say to you, okay, um, do you remember the number? Uh, I can't remember what it was, but turn to that page, and just think of the word. And you already... Yeah, uh, I'm sort of one ahead. That's so that's, that's the Oasis book test. It's a nice big book. The other nice thing as well, and not that it, it will ever happen, um, but on the off chance it will, Clint Barron actually wrote a short story called the Oasis of True Freedom, which is on Amazon. So if anyone, any skeptic did question it, and they researched it, it's they could actually buy the book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's cool. Um, so that is the Oasis book test. And what we're going to do, um, for all the viewers on our, uh, of our vlog, is for the next week, that is from this vlog until the time the next vlog comes out, <coughs> you're going to be able to buy this for £35. Okay, £35 including free shipping. Well, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's spontaneous of you. It is very spontaneous. <laughs> so, for the next week, 
35 wow. pounds, just go on our website, you'll see it reduced on there. Um, that's own, that offer's only gonna be for a week. You'll get free shipping as you do with all of Alakazam products on our website now. And that's no matter where you live in the world, if you buy an Alakazam product, you get free shipping on it. Um, so this has been reduced to 34.99 for you guys. Awesome. Um, so if you've ever wanted to get into a book test or you know, watching this vlog has, has sort of made you fancy giving it a go, yeah. this is a great one to start with. Um, so check that out. And also, please be aware that we've moved where the vlogs are now. They've got their own YouTube channel, which is going to be dedicated to the vlogs from now on, rather than, because we're adding so many trailers up, yeah. people going, oh, I missed last week, so I didn't find yeah. it. So they've got their own channel. So please, please, please make sure you subscribe in the subscribe button. Just hit that and subscribe to our channel. And if you're not already uh, like in our Facebook page, make sure you do that because um, we hold a competition every single week. Now, I'm off on holiday. You are? As you're watching this. Yeah, you are. You're enjoying yourself in well, the sun. Well, no, I won't. I'll be on a plane when you're watching this. Okay. You'll be up in the... I won't be enjoying myself. Okay. I'll be on a plane watching something <laughs> or sleeping. <laughs> but I'm going to be on a plane somewhere. Well, so... Um, Next week's? Yeah, I might have a guest. Yeah? I might be on my own. <laughs> I haven't quite decided yet. But there will be a vlog. But there will be a vlog, yeah. Tune in, it'll be fun, whatever it is. Um, and then you'll come back from holiday and realise I've messed everything up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, join us uh, next week. I hope we've got something out of that. I certainly learned something about the book test today, so that's awesome. Uh, and I will see you next week in the Alakazam video vlog.